Peace and greetings, everybody. Um, so I wanted to do a video on just trying to help some people get started. I know you might have some uh, questions on, you know, what is an ESP32 and which one should you get? There are a lot. And when I say that, there are a lot. Um, pretty much for any application, any project, there's probably... A specific ESP32 just for you and what I mean is that um, if you look closely um, like this is the development board but this is the chip and you can see that um, they all have very specific labels um, and then even more specific they have the actual model name um, like for instance <clears throat> and they're all mouthfuls um, this is the ESP32 S3 Room 1 N16R8. And uh, N16 means um, 16 megabytes of flash. And the R means um, PSRAM. Uh, that's how much memory it has. So I have uh, four different ones here um, to go over. This is actually a project I'm working on, the Cypher Box. But we're going to be looking at the specific module on here. <clears throat> I was too lazy to get one without uh, something attached to it. So um, we're going to do this in order of um, my least personal favorite <laughs> to uh, my favorite one. Uh, and that doesn't mean that any is worse or not, but that's just how I'm going to do it. Um, so for this first one... Um, we have the ESP32 Room 32D. Uh, this is one you can get for about um, a few bucks online. Um, you can get it on Amazon or you can get it at AliExpress, um, a little cheaper. And these are uh, very capable. You know, um, this cipher box uh, will not keep this. Uh, I'm going to upgrade it. Uh, most likely to this S3. Um, but for starting out, I wanted just the cheapest one to prototype with. So this one has uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and um, <clears throat> has one USB-A. Uh, then it has a reset, a boot button, and um, quite a lot of uh, GPIO pins. And it has um, quite a few analog pins and it has two uh, digital to analog pins as well. And uh, this model has uh, four megabytes of uh, flash memory, which is one reason I wanted to uh, upgrade this one. Because um, this cipher box and its script is definitely pushing, uh, it's going to be pushing over four megabytes. Um, so that's something to uh, consider. Um, but I'd highly recommend this one if you're um, A, just getting started and want something that's cheap, and has a lot of input-output pins, um, and can get the job done with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, um, which, you know, is pretty good. Pretty good range on that and um, very capable. But if you want something uh, much smaller, like for instance, um, this NFC uh, reader writer uh, scanner project, um, I could not use this, uh, this previous ESP32. So I needed um, something even smaller. So uh, this is the ESP C3 Super Mini. And uh, this is a clone from Seed Studio, um, the Zao C3. So it has the um, same form factor. Uh, but it's nice that it is USB-C and um, it has just enough pins. It has uh, one SPI bus, one I2C, and uh, one UART bus, and five volt. Ground three volt. The only thing is on the Zao, <clears throat> which you know, um, they are you know three times more because this is like two bucks. Um, 
they do have the lipo battery charger on the back side um, and a few other things um, so this is like really the basic version um, and it's four megabytes of ram i think is the most for these um, so it, it's still super capable um, however if you do need a lot more uh, pins then you should go to a different version uh, but this I, i'm using this a lot on uh, different projects um, but tip if you are using this in arduino ide and using a clone version uh, the board you must select is the zao esp32 c3 otherwise this will not work and another um, word of caution is that there are <clears throat> different versions of these. If there's any way possible, you need to look uh, very closely on the chip. I don't even know if it would be possible to, if you could see that. But uh, more or less, um, you won't really find this anywhere online. There's like one <laughs> site that says this, but there's four lines. There should be four lines on the chip of letters um, and one of them uh, starts with an F um, <clears throat> or something of the sorts but if you have a, there's one chip that has three lines and that has no flash memory on it and I got a batch <laughs> of those I bought like 10 for a dollar each and um, it didn't have flash and I had to find out the hardware because it wasn't working um, so just a word of wisdom, and to be honest, um, I probably would never go into production with these um, because they are very unstable. Like you might need to, um, well, they're very finicky with power, so you need to ha definitely have a good source of power. And um, I don't know, like I love the form factor, but I think... Um, you're better off getting just the seed studio. It's the only time I ever say just get the real version, <laughs> not the clone. Um, but you know, when they work, they're pretty good. But um, just a word of caution. If you happen to buy a hundred of these, a thousand of them for a project, just know that, you know, 65% will, will probably work. Um, so up next we have the um, ESP S3 Uno and I, I haven't really used this too much um, you know I, I kind of like the idea of it more <laughs> than actual use case I have for it right now because it is kind of like a development board and I'm really just prototyping uh, actual products uh, but this is good to go back to and um, also because I am going to be going probably into production with this uh, S3 this is great to um, really test things out, you know, if I just want to, um, you know, if I just want to wire a screen up real quick or some buttons, um, this is kind of the way to go. Um, especially if I don't want to use a breadboard or something. Um, or if I do want to use a breadboard and still have this like right to the side and do a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is very, uh, definitely very useful. Um, so what's cool about this is that it takes um, the Arduino Uno uh, form factor, which is pretty legendary, and then it um, they somehow magically made it all work with the um, ESP32 Room 1. Um, and this is the N16R8, so it's the 16 megabytes of RAM version. Um, this is cool because it has the uh, RGB light, um, like this one. And then you could power it through uh, DC, which is good if you have um, things that require at least 5 volt. And then what, what I really like about uh, the S3s, which I wish I would have known when I was making this, is that it has the um, USB LTG and JTAG debugger. <clears throat> so, um, you could power things uh, via USB and power it from here and do uh, data communication as well. And then it has a reset button. And uh, one thing that's also really cool is that it has a uh, 
UFL connector for your antenna. So you don't need to have, you don't have to like scratch away at the uh, copper tracing and do your own crazy thing. Um, you can add a whole host of different antennas. And you know, a lot of people might not be into antenna design or uh, adding your own things, but you know, that's a great way to exchange range. Um, there's a lot of different cool antennas you could use uh, for your application. Uh, there's 45 input output pins, which is a ton, and you can um, add some more header pins here <clears throat> to connect right there. Um, but yeah, really nice board because uh, it's the only board that has labeling on the front and back. You know, um, it's a very beginner friendly. And, uh, you know, if you do get this on Alley, it's about five bucks. Um, or you could get it on Amazon probably come a little faster but overall um i really like this you know it's wi-fi bluetooth and um it's not just a simple plain boring arduino uno so um last and my uh current favorite um i'll tell you the exact favorite after this one but this uh esp32 s3 room one um once again, the N16 uh, is really uh, amazing. I wish I found out about this a lot uh, sooner. Um, the only thing that I wish it had, um, but I think it's on a different uh, version, is if it had the um, antenna connector, just for the uh, freedom to have it in case I need it. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's a version it might be the room too that has it um but this one's cool because it has uh two ports so it has uh one for usb otg so you could power uh from there and then it has a com port uh, to communicate so you can be uh kind of flexible it has the uh, rgb light <clears throat> i think on pin 48 um, really, really, really very, uh, capable, um, chip because, um, there's really a lot that you can do and that's what I'm really going to, um, upgrade the next, um, uh, chip with because then with this, um, because it has the USB OTG, it also has, um, you know, HID function so it can emulate a uh, mouse and keyboard and do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So overall, um, you know, choice is kind of yours um, as far as what you would like to, to use. Uh, you could go to a spare site and they have a really nice um, product catalog and you can filter exactly um, what you need if you want Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, if you need a certain amount of memory, a certain amount of uh, processing speed, uh, size and form factor. Because um, the interesting thing is they have uh, even ESP32s in the Raspberry Pico form factor. Um, you know, the, the um, Raspberry uh, zero factor you know the super tiny version so there's a lot of different uh forms um that might suit you and especially if you just need a one-off if you're not like going into production you don't need a hundred or a thousand um it doesn't hurt to buy you know a few different ones and kind of see where you're at um, i'm kind of trying to find uh you know really the best ones um the best and the cheapest so um, when I do hopefully go into production and I'm wholesaling in bulk, you know, you start out from a few different selections, prototypes, and then you kind of select what you want to kind of push forward. You know, like with this um, cipher box, I'm going to make about 10 of them, you know, have people test them out, see how that goes. But I really think, um, you know, if I was to buy a, a thousand of one, um, wholesale it'd probably be the esp32 uh, 
S3 room one, um, just because of the overall u utility of it. And um, then when you find the exact one you want, you don't buy a thousand of these boards, you buy um, a thousand of like the chip and then you create your own board and um, kind of just go from there. But uh, I hope this helps, um, at least trying to choose from a few, few different kinds. Um, you can kind of see just uh, the levels to ESP32. Um, you know, a lot of people might not know they get this small. Um, and a lot of people might not know that they come in a UNO form factor. So, you know, pick and choose whatever feels best. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions um, or if you need any suggestions for other ones to find or try out or what are some good sites to look at, uh, just let me know.